Now, with both Flash Player 10.1 and, and Air 2, we're working on multi-touch. And I'd like to show you where we are with multi-touch now. And I have over here an HP TouchSmart screen. And let me wake it up. OK. And I've got a couple of examples to give you an idea of the multi-touch capabilities that are available to you now in, in, in Flash Player 10.1 and Air 2. So here's an example that was built actually by Synergy Systems. Thanks, guys, for building this. <laughs> and so we can see this as a calendar app. I can drag it around the screen with my finger. And if I want to expand it, I can use multi-touch to expand it. And we've put up the gesture events up on top if you guys want to. It's kind of closed captioning for developers. And um, I can interact here by swiping. You can see there's a gesture pan. Uh, I can go from month to month with my finger. And these events can be passed to the application both as high-level events uh, or you can get the raw event data. So you can either get a stream of gesturing events uh, that are high level like pan and zoom and things like that, or you can get what looks like multiple mice all interacting with your application. So I can go to a particular week here uh, by zooming into the week here. All right, so here's a day view, uh, week view, and I can look and I can scroll around. You can see it's tracking uh, the content with my fingers. I move it. Um, I can go into the day. I can move these around just by touching and dragging them like this. Uh, if I want to edit these things, of course, um, in addition to the move events, um, I, can, I can double tap to open one. You can see it's touch tap. If I want, I can drag around the, the times here to uh, change the starting time. You can see it's touch move. And I can also change the type of event here. In this mock-up, I have to use two fingers to demonstrate rotation. So you can see I can spin this thing with my two fingers. So you can actually rotate things and get rotate events as well with these gestures. So some great uh, innovation here happening with multi-touch and a lot to learn as we start building all these uh, applications. Now, let me minimize this guy and put him over here. Now, the next example I want to show you uh, is Flash Player 10.1 running in the browser. And this is an example of multi-touch running in a browser with Flash Player 10.1. And this is an example created by the XD team uh, to experiment with multi-touch. So I'm going to log in here. And it's going to load, uh, in this case, it's a place where people can post photos and videos and things like that. Um, here's a dog. It's always have good, good to have pictures of dogs. There's a dog. Um, and you can see I can throw things around. Uh, if I want to, I can tap them and manipulate them. So if I want to resize that, I can do that. And all these events are being fed to the Flash application, uh, as you saw earlier. If I want as well, I can add things here with a little touch interface. So for example, if I want to take my photo, there's a camera in the touch smart, so I can say, hi. <laughs> and if I like that, I can keep it. There I am. Uh, I can rotate it right there. I can name it if I want to and move it around. So this is just a, a kind of a playground as we're learning about these events. And I encourage you to kind of do these same kinds of experimentation uh, applications to learn about multi-touch.